Hey, this is David Rich again from HouseBarons.com. Today we're going to show you uh, our last room in this house that we're working on is a laundry room. Um, it's in our basement and we have this uh, plank uh, shiplap siding uh, styled walls. And so we're going to go with the similar theme in this room for the ceiling. Uh, because we didn't want, we want to put it in drop ceiling, but we didn't want a, you know, the typical foamy board, paper kind of drop ceiling. So we're basically build, building another ceiling in this one uh, to give us, we cut up all this, all this uh, area when we first got into uh, replumbing the house. And what we want to make sure is that we can always get back into this because uh, we may not be done adding plumbing to this house. So we're just leaving these wires up here uh, to some extent. We haven't finished up with that. But anyway, you know, it has old duct ducting and uh, this is the old laundry vent that we want to get rid of. And so basically we just decided to lower this down. We're going to put planking over it. The planking will be easily removed if we ever need to get back up into the space, which is a likelihood. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like a, a typical drop ceiling. We just didn't, we just don't like that look. And on this side right here, Curiously, whenever this was built, there's no middle framing here at all. So we have a top plate and a bottom plate, and we've screwed into either one of these. We're going to cover this with drywall. So we'll only have a minimal amount of drywall on this uh, to do. And then again, like I said, these boards are going to be one by eights that we've already painted, and there'll just be a plank ceiling in here uh, so that we can use it in the future. All right, so our, our task next at hand are to extend the uh, wiring from here into these boxes, this box and that box. And then we have one duct that we're gonna extend down to this level so that we can have ducting, uh, so we can have heat into this room. After that, we're just ready to put up the planks. Now, we'll, we're, the last thing we're gonna do, we're installing a new water heater. So we'll end the planking here, and then we'll redo the water heater, um, plumbing, water heater and plumbing, and then we'll finish up the planks. The one thing that uh, was real helpful to us that we've used it on so many projects is a laser level. Uh, it gives you a true line all the way across the whole room, and that's how you, how we got uh, how we got the ceiling in in a level fashion. But you could do it you could do it by hand or with a regular level, um, just by measuring down from the ceiling. But the laser level just does it all the more quick and uh, all the more quickly. We have a nine foot uh, amount that we're trying to span. These boards are ten feet long, so after they're finished drying and they're pretty close to that right now we'll start putting them up okay you go going nail your end okay, can you hold that for me so i'm just we want to Get it as uniform as possible, so. So I'm just putting in this, uh, little guy here so I can push off of it. And we'll make it move. The track ready? We got the project all done. Uh, we got the plank ceiling finished and buttoned up. We got the new water heater in over there in the corner and that kind of hung us up a little bit. Um, but all together, uh, we did, the, again, we did the slatted ceiling to, it kind of has the lakey vibe and it goes with the rest of the basement. And it gives us an ability to get into this area because we have plumbing above it uh, if the need arises. Uh, if you got any questions, go ahead and drop us a line. We'll be happy to answer your questions. If you haven't subscribed, be sure and subscribe. we got lots more videos coming. And as always, thanks a lot for viewing. We'll see you next time.